97% of the population of the world is going to die with regrets and be forced to live inside of a lie. A lie that they tell themselves, a lie that they tell their kids, their grandkids, but they know it is a lie. You do not want to die like that. But only 3% of the population want. 3 percenters are renegades. They do everything differently and they only care about results. Results are the only thing that counts. It is not an elitist position. It is not about winning at all costs. Three percenters think differently, they act differently, they operate differently, they live their lives differently, they train differently, they view drilling differently. And although they're talking from an angle of jiu-jitsu, this can apply to anything. It's about life. It's about a fact. A fact that in the world we live in, everyone wants something. But few are willing to do what needs to be done to fulfill their deepest, most meaningful wants. In the three percenter, the will-er is always bigger than the want-er. I'll say it again. In the three percenter, the willer is always bigger than the wanter. But in the 97 percenter, the wanter and the whiner is always bigger than the willer. 97.3 is about a fact. A fact that 97 percent of the population aren't willing to do whatever it takes to achieve their dreams, whatever that is. Become a piano player, a guitarist, a BJ world champion, a millionaire, an awesome parent, an honorable spouse, an athlete, whatever. 97 percent of the population believe it when people tell them they can't have their dream. They shouldn't go for their dream. It's impossible. Too small, too short, too ugly, too slow, too old. 97% of the population believe it when the inevitable self-sabotage excuses come and show up into their head and they want to quit. The horrible disease of BJJ bitch asses creeps in. You don't need this. You're tired. Nobody would know. Dial it back a bit. Come on, it's Friday. Come on, it's Sunday. Let's be clear. The 3% is about pushing all of your chips into the middle of the table and going for it whatever your it is, and keeping after it, no matter what others who can't see your vision might say. The people who don't see your vision, but choose to actively tear your vision down, actively try to sabotage you, they are the haters, they are the 97%. 97.3 is about another fact. 3% of the population feel a desire deep down in their heart, a desire they neither made up nor chose. They woke up one day and it was there. It might be to become a BJJ world champion. It might be to become an Olympian. It might be to help homeless people. It might be anything. Being a 3%er is not about getting gold. Let me repeat. 3%er is not about getting gold. You don't get kicked out of 3% if you fall short. The final score does not reflect 100% of the time who is 3% and who is 97%. It's just like positive thinking though. Chances of success thinking positively have a far better track record than any other option. It's not about winning. It's about being willing to do whatever needs to be done to be great. Winning is just a common byproduct of becoming great. But just 3%, a very small population, will ever get to the end of their life and lay on their deathbed and not feel regret. Not think, I should've, I would've, I could've. 3% is accept no excuse. 3% is accept no obstacle. 3% is just do what needs doing until the job is done. Anyone you look up to, anyone that has accomplished anything big in any field, from spirituality all the way to music, sports, nutrition, medicine, farming, or whatever. Just look around and the difference between those who have mastered their fate and those that have been a victim of fate is the difference between the 97 and 3%. If you have a goal to become a BJ World Champion and you have two jobs and five kids and can only train two times a week, the 97% will tell you all the reasons why they can't and won't or how someone else can only because they have access to something you don't. Where the 3 percent doesn't make excuses. They do the best they can with what they got. Do the best they can within those two days a week. The 97 percent make excuses. Don't worry about it. You only lost because the person had more stripes than you. Oh, he was stronger than you. He is more athletic than you. It's okay, you almost call him an armbar. Insert whatever BJJ bitch asses language you want here. 3 percenters are immune to criticism. No whining, no bitching, no moaning. They take fast action. They're turned off by the other side of the 97 percenters. They pick themselves up quickly and get back into the game. Everyone has setbacks. It's not about just winning. Don't blame others for their failures. They're not afraid to fail. Everyone has fear. 3 percenters just understand how to deal with it. They take responsibility for their own actions. And when they get specialized knowledge, such as drilling techniques, such as specialized techniques, they practice it, they drill it, and they put it into a system. What do you do? What do you want? What's your choice? For me, it was a simple choice. But ultimately, the choice is yours. It has nothing to do with Lloyd Irvin. Nothing to do with your coach. Nothing to do with your family or friends. It's your life. And just like the late, great Jim Rome said, walk away from the 97%. Don't use their vocabulary. Don't use their excuses. Don't go where they go. Don't do what they do. Don't talk like they talk. Develop you a whole new language. Be a part of the few. It all comes down to a choice, a choice to be great, to do great, to feel great, to think great, to become great. 
or to do what everyone else is doing just by getting by and living inside their own lie. Choose the 3% or die in a lie.